Moshi Moshi, my Ami Gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact. You successfully fired Olaron, but the situation seems complicated. Olaron is hiding something. To get to the bottom of this, you agree to meet him alone. Today, we'll continue doing a Nightland story quest. Okay, you, uh, where is he? Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Ah, uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. Paimon's got a secret food fund, so she can do the honors. Uh, how did this become Paimon's bill? Because! You know, you're hungry 24-7. Uh, see, Lolly looks quite down on herself. Yeah? Alright, alright. It's on Paimon this time. What's one meal to the... Best guide into that. So you can just sit back and enjoy, Sweet Lolly. Paimon will take care of it. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? <sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora. <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure, that's fine with us, but... Paimon doesn't want you to be sad, Sweet Lolly. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Ooh, we said steak, huh? I'm actually curious. Can we actually go up there? Let me, let me... Ooh! But I guess on this! Oh, that would be awesome. Do you even walk to the tower and find a quiet spot to sit? You can order some food and food juice while so that begins chugging down below after a bottle of wine. Huh? Wine? Hmm? What are you looking at? Uh, do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? Nah, she's drunk! Yeah, she is! <laughs> oh god, yeah, she's drunk! But... Paimon only sees one person there! <laughs> huh? Oh, how could that be? Huh? I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Give me another bottle, boss! No! Uh, do you think she's drunk? Yes, yeah, she is! I'd be surprised if she wasn't. There you go, miss. Oh my! It's not every day you get to see Granny Itzli here with some friends. Not to mention ones who've made a huge name for themselves recently. Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Seed Lolly. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. <sighs> I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. Wait, so you call her Granny too? Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great-great-granny. <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Night Wind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. Huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chaka? <laughs> oh god, look at this. Oh, please, Granny, I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers too. Alright, that's enough. Go on now, I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. <laughs> well then, you have my thanks. But, anyway, after Shans leaves, Cersei downs a few more glasses and begins to still bring into space from the chill. So you start wondering whether she's actually drunk or walking through some complex problems in her head. Uh... Yeah, see? You are now drunk with those blushy face. Seat Lowey? Seat Lowey? Uh, who's that? Uh... You got some gall calling me by my first name. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? Is she drunk? Uh, are you still with the seat, Lolly? You're kinda talking to no one. <sighs> you ch 
chumps come around here picking fights with me? <laughs> you know what oh, happens fuck. next. You lose, and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's always the same story. You brat start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I mean, come on, monster? Me? Really? What did I do to deserve that? This is entertaining to watch. Granny Seat Lolly, you're not a monster at all. Exactly. And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyab, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. <laughs> Who? Me? Don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find float, Justin? You see? I know my stuff. <laughs> I'm a good teacher. <laughs> you tell him. Say, you gotta listen, you bitch. Absolutely. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah. I'm just playing a lot. Hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> Now she's asleep. <laughs> Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? Oh, jeez. Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. Huh? Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwing? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Is she good? She don't sound good. Huh? Did she woke up? <laughs> oh, are you awake? A uh, traveler? Paimon? I... You were drunk! We record everything! What's wrong? Uh, 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 I'm gonna hurl. Um, there's no... Uh, Hang on! Just keep it in! Uh, 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 phew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a close one. You had Paimon worried! Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now! Not a Taco Bell food! you had to see me like that that's never happened before i swear i've never thrown up not once we didn't ask about before mm -hmm. are you feeling okay want to take a quick walk and get some fresh air uh, uh, there's so much that i want to say but i can't why not of course you can just say whatever's on your mind uh, please paimon it's not as simple as you think We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Surely, you know the feeling too? Um, actually, <laughs> about that. Should we just tell her? Huh? Tell me what? Yeah, this is as good a time as any. Oh, I'd see Lati. I'm a virgin. Listen carefully and try not to get too upset. We decided when the tech was doing all his rescue as opportunity fairly and appropriately as possible. So you show some who assist with your thought spell, allowing you to temporarily heal her thoughts. Uh, this is so... Y you heard... You heard my... Yes! It's okay, Sweet Lolly! 
You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? <sighs> hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much. It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing. So that, uh, happens to you a lot. I don't see your tits out. It happens to people in general, okay? Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking something... Generic! <sighs> Are you okay? You look dejected. Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely <laughs> those, given those up. Eyes. But those goofy eyes. <laughs> who just confess everything and accept their fate. We should follow her just to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. So you said this is your... Do something stupid! Um, uh, sure. Why are we in a sick of flames of all places? I was just... I mean, okay. Well, great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, it's beautiful! Thank you for bringing us here. <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Why? Oh no, what do we do? Please don't cry! I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... <sighs> embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eats Flea is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. A few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. Paimon's right. Huh. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh. Uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. <laughs> I believe you. Shilonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. He thinks of you as his granny, right? Yes, but Auroran's a special case. Maoika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroran and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Aurorans not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The Masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroran's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroran into a vessel for lost souls. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroran would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place. Strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. the post to the Night Kingdom. Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift, unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, 
which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The Ley Lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears, and now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the Chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroron escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But, just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Wait! But... it's not his fault! He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls. More than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with Ley Lines has become. Maybe... he chose to work with the Fatui... because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler... Didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back! Yeah, that should be our next step. I... Uh, you don't look so good, Seat Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, forget that. I need to go home. <laughs> I hit it a little too hard. No, you don't have to do at, at, at this alone. Uh, you've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Aurora's probably back I with mean, the captain, don't you think? Could hug us hug. Yeah, we should tell the park on what we learned. You mean about the backup plan? Do you really believe what the captain told us? Hmm. Well, she needs to know regardless. Yeah, you're right. We should just go to her directly. But she's probably asleep. We can find her first thing in the morning. Her no! Go to bed. I was in the floor. Oh, we're not, anyways. Oh, we're calling. What? Is it morning already? Why is it so noisy outside? I would still have sleep. We still got clothes on. That's kind of weird. See what's going on. Ooh, I'm gonna sit here. I didn't know we were going to a hotel room. And how the hell took shits? Cares about that. Okay, it was gonna. Uh, oh, she's back. Ah, uh, you're already here. I was just about to come get you. Wow, you're up early. That's impressive, especially after all the drinking last night. Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. 
Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. I heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss, including the Masters of the Nightwind. I need to head back right away. The Abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. The stadium could always use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. What about Oan? I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. I was the one who vouched for him, so I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry, I never forget a promise to a friend. I'll keep an eye out for Oawan as well. Thank you. Alright, I need to start heading back. Hi, see you later. She left in a hurry? The situation must be really serious. Uh. Oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. Let's see what's going on. What about Paracon? Malofka! Do we not speak to her first? I mean, I guess not. Oh! <laughs> Traveler over here! <sighs> Perfect. Our oh, she got voice lines. Here. Good. What about others? Oh, you're all here! But, Egg, what's with the whole Star Outlander thing? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. Alright, but can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the collective of planes, the nice masters said. of the Nightwind, nice. the children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. All at once? Yes. And the attack. <laughs> <laughs> Even the pretty lady of this of Nedlin. The speaks. tribes have plenty of defenses, so they're I guess she's shield now, with her now? But I That's can't good. say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Chaska and I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mulani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the Children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. Hmm... I need to talk to the power icon first. Yeah, that does sound important. No worries. Just leave the children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. That would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Let's part ways here for now. And most importantly, be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous-looking substances. Hey! That will make my job a lot easier. Why are you giving your sister a side eye? <sighs> Koichi, do we really have to do this now? <laughs> it's alright. She's just looking out for everyone. Alright, let's hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archon so we can help the others. Yeah, let's go to find her! She's already up there. Oh, please tell us voice lines too. Oh, it's you two. Oh, nice. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're going to go help the children of Echoes after this. We meet the captain. What? You tell Baruch about your police meeting with the captain in the Oawan. So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. Hmm, can the drillers do what he said? <sighs> I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. So, tell us only two VA has no voice lines. All right. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan. But it comes at a heavy price. The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean... Yes, it means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. <sighs> 
The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. <sighs> Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing, given the enormity of the price. It's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk, but after weighing our options, this is our best bet. Hmm. Um, it doesn't sound like something an icon would do. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tavat. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyra Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the Captain learned this information. Oh, one more thing? The Captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down. So he can answer that question for us. The Pokemon just shared an important secret with us, and she seems sincere. Figuring out the Captain's supposed new way of saving other is the key. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me. Even if just for a second. Maybe a little. Not even a little! We would never- Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? Pokemon! <laughs> just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? Not at all. <sighs> you scared, Paimon. No! We got a lot of guts, Traveler. Of course! <sighs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. It's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer! Are uh, the current attacks... <sighs> Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warrior station in those areas can handle it. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait! You're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. Hmm, I'm sure you're an inspiration to all your warriors. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now, I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. I think a lot of people will join the fights. <sighs> yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. Alright, we should head out! Maybe we can join up with Moani! She can't be too far ahead. Yeah, let's go. Stay safe, Baruka. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Oh, let's just give it a hug. <laughs> I think Pansy has her as well. Tis I I could build on my face. Alright, Chinavel calls. We are combed. <gasps> Katrina's here too! Quick, over here! To safety! <gasps> Even her! <laughs> Katrina, how many people do you have left? Uh, they all made it out! There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. Uh, I'm coming too! The, uh, like, okay, child. Let's ride. We Enemies? Huh? 
walking? Guess we're gonna attack. I think Stay Ooh. safe. We've got this. Oh, being killed as my people of the tribe. We'll save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skateboarding. Are those potato? Are those Doritos? I didn't notice that. Okay. We need to break this. Kick this. Use your legs. Use your heels. Oh, he's skateboarding. He's skateboarding. Even you're bleeding. Bloody! Do you all? Oh my, that glitch. No, I didn't see you all. Oh well. I. I really thought I was done for. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last abyssal pylon near the children of Echoes. Phew! That was fucking scary, but we did it. By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. <sighs> that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Yeah! Just riding my way back to my, I mean, Katrina's and Shalani's tribe. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Uh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. I wasn't in charge or anything, we just happened to be together. See, I think that, that through this camping in the world was a good idea. That's how we were able to kick the fucking ass. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, it was worth it. Uh... I don't mean to be negative. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. And we still don't know when the final tears are going to appear. It just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. I learned a few things you should know. You share the captain's intel. <gasps> oh, just now! Okay, let's tell them. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow, the captain finds out about it. Goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. It's probably because our plan is so risky as fuck! We don't even know if the six years will be light in time! We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the costs and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Yeah, life that's what is I'm important, thinking. But so are history and memory. I'm on Moaka's side too. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is, if the Captain found a new way to save Natlan, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Yeah! Isn't he from Sestaya? Why would the team want to save fucking Natlan? Uh, this is all super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Mm -hmm. Let's head back then. Malika said her intelligence officers should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. What did you do? Oh, Ganushin Minani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. Yay! We're besties! And if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. Uh, it's all a chain reaction. Then you should go 
was right away. She took long. They were looking for people. Register? Nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. And it's okay, but do you have to follow my goddamn orders? <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. All right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, mm -hmm. you betcha! Uh, those two are like besties. Oh, well, let's go. Mawaka! How you doing, Dale? Mawaka! Oh, Chatska and Kuichi are here! Wait, are you okay, Kuichi? What's going on? Uh, I'm fine. No need to worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? The Fatui wounded Chai oh, Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Go on. I want to. <gasps> okay. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Bend down. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? What the hell's going on? Like a bunch of NPCs. <laughs> I kind of want to sit and watch, but at the same time, I must focus on the story quest <laughs> and see what happens if they're gonna die or not. You're right. That's a traveling group from that land. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. I won't trust them. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. I don't know if you the trust those. If you wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Bullshit! Okay, we can do that. We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you uh, hear they that? Really want to. They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Yeah. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Am I being Celsius for this? Oh, never mind. If I want my ooh, I'll be so ass. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. I really want to see how she plays. Oh, Wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? I hold a vision! You pussy! Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. We still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. <sighs> all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Ah, <laughs> Guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. 
are we doing this in that direction thing? How did I notice that? The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. I hope you know what you're doing, girl. That interactions. Am I playing a, a is it called Teletool Games? Is that what it's called? Like if I'm, I'm playing not the sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Jump down. This is like the Walking Dead I'm playing right now. It feels like I'm playing the Walking Dead or the Minecraft story mode. Good. This is so cool. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. She's looking. <gasps> Copy ballers. I see them inside. Go. Oh. That's it. Now's my chance. Who's supposed to lead the platform? How is the heal not being clicked loud enough for them to hear it? Oh wait, she's in the tiptoe part. She they can hear it. What's next? You gotta climb up. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Just walking back and forth. Are there dumbasses? <gasps> They're dumb. Um. Time to move. Go. Loud. That was close. Almost got caught. What? Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. I hope you light. That's how you jog. She can climb. Oh shit! <laughs> I made it. That'll show my sister. Let's see. Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it. Oh, what? What is that you're holding? Toss out the mysterious spiel. Why the hell would you do that? <gasps> Not the copy bombers! No! Thank you! What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh, it stinks! You sound like a dumbass. <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing! Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance! Are you a vision holder? Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. All right, time to move. Look at that pretty up here as she stands. Give me your hand, quick. Coming! Oh, oh close to the titties, but I didn't see it. I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Uh-oh. Now we continue with our... S yep. jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? No, I look like the mean one. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. 
The more time you waste, the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. it looks like the Fatili are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on. Let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. <clears throat> what was that sound? Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Thanks to oh, you! incoming! Watch out for your gadget! Did you say that loud? What? <sighs> You'll regret that! After them! Great! And that's for the story ends, doesn't it? Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Kuichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... I accept. Thank you, Archon. Oh! What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the Source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Yummy snacks! Damn, Paimon, you're fat ass for eating. We're saying goodbye to them. Need a Can we get a hug? At least. What's next for you two? I'm taking Koichi home. With our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not gonna rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might. But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. So you need to do you need to look after yourself too. <sighs> I guess you're right, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> this reminds Paimon of when we first met! Except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Then try to see things from my perspective. At least! You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <laughs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. Just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. 
Plus, what? I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay, you don't have to put it that way. So, you're all good now? This is probably noble for them. Neither of us are really the type to back down, so we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. Let's give you a hug too and say goodbye. Oh, what's next? Huh. Those two will probably make up for real at some point, right? I hope. Well, we've learned a lot. Let's go over everything that we know so far. Okay, you will probably try to analyze the captain's goals. You feel like you're just one step from the answers. Huh? Footsteps. Oh! Salati? Ahem. Uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. <laughs> why are you the Undertaker? Uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Awesome! Just give us your orders! Hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh yeah, you mentioned how Auroron has always wanted to save Natland, and something about his soul being fragmented. Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Auroron is probably back with the Captain. What do you think? I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Auroron came back. He helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. What? He came back? Did he say anything? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him go at all. I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh. All these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> You're right. Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look. Remember how I said Auroron's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable, and this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and... He happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. He probably suspected that I tampered with it. But here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem. Which he no longer needed. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Uh, most people can't, but I can. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroron's memories in this gem. <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? 
Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows. That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away. Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. Huh, that's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. Hmm. It's possible. Families disagree sometimes. Uh, to be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago. And now, I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. And then start freaking out. <laughs> I don't scare that easy. Still, if I back away from this and something happens to Auroron, I would never forgive myself. <sighs> I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good, I don't care. And I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because, uh, right, we need leads on the Fatui. Five months, right? You really mean it? Oh, fine, you can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out. Got it? Don't worry, we're professional adventurers! Oh, totally! Place my trust in your professionalism. Alright, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some... Uh... Unwanted spying. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going in? Oh, looks like we are. Ah! My eyes! Oh my, what is happening? Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you? Nifa says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hey! How's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. That's pretty amazing. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone. But I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. Hmm. So, what next? Hmm. You're from the Masters of the Nightland, uh, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui. The one everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitlali is her name. Granny? What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. You have business with her? <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, he could tell I was lying and now he's leaving? He gave up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Seed Lolly. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. Oh, might be a good reason why he's doing this then, actually. Not being a traitor? I 
I've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny, I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. My lord! Dude! That's so obvious! You're hiding right there! Ignore him. He is no threat. Oh, he knows. He knows Doesn't I'm matter. following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell. But there's something unusual about him and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Ah! Uh, what is it? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. A ley line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside their rightful realm. <sighs> is he a choir user? Are you good? Oh, that was a spell from the Masters of the Night Wind. How oh. did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Uh, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The Abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? Like, how do we know? Because most Fatuis in most kids, they would actually want to murder us or kick our ass and do some shady shit. And what's next? It's just the day he came I've able been to following fight. Them this whole time and still they ignore me? Do they really not care? It seems like his subordinates referred to him as the captain. I've never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir! He's going inside? But the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? <sighs> the time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? Okay. <laughs> And there you go, the clashes. They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines, it's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. What? So what's next? You, mayhem, you have an escape next, like it said before? As for you... I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Ah, you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. So it was a while, not I take it back. You heard something from here, didn't you? <coughs> no need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However... Not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. <laughs> then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. Can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. 
So, I felt like I had to help you. <sighs> so, you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight, and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Silali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? I want to do something to change Natlan for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange? <laughs> Sitalali is said to be the legendary Granny Eatstli, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub. And the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul, a sense of justice. Oh, he knows. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. Ooh, and that's where it goes, right? I see. Interesting approach. Worth trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem by reconstructing the ley lines themselves. Okay. And then, uh, is that what he wants to me next? And that's the end of it. Like, damn. <gasps> Traveler, Paimon. Are you two alright? Uh, yeah. Paimon's fine, just, um, <laughs> a little dizzy. I'm fine, just her brain are so tiny. Are you okay, Slaughter? Of course. I'm just. Oh, I'm so mad at him. Ooh, those are a Sakura mode right there. <sighs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. I can kind of listen how he feels. <sighs> for some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <laughs> Stubborn, self-righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> gonna just kick his balls and just elbow him? Maybe stubbornness runs in the family! Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say! No! Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh! That kid's got nothing on me. Who are you thinking, Paimon? <sighs> anyway... Back to what we just saw... I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah! The captain seriously wants to... Reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like... The Loom of Fate, maybe? But how does that help with the Abyss? The Loom of Fate? Oh, I... It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conryo that has unbelievable power. Uh, anyway... If he really wants to manipulate the Ley Lines, everyone in that land will be affected. Oh, this is big. Hmm... He tried to seize the sternals for the same purpose. Which means... The captain has been honest from the very beginning. Auroron's memory proves that. Why is he so obsessed with saving Natlan? Oh, we've got to tell Moika about this right away! Yes. She needs to know about this. Okay, now. let's go. Pyro Icon! We need to speak mad- is there a part two to this? Oh, is that it? Oh, there is! But you know what? I'm gonna stop with this. So, continue with this. Oh, well, I'm gonna avail. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Sayonara.